these are raw vegan burgers which are nut free so I'm going to be having them for lunch so I'm gonna like assemble them and I thought I'll just come on live to show you it's uh, a recipe from the ultimate raw vegan bundle this is actually from make it raw too by chef AJ and uh, Melissa of raw food romance hello Faye hello raw food yours hello um why hello oh so many people hello Asamat okay I'll just yeah hold on I need to love forever on hello Zenith yeah let me paste what I'm gonna do and then let me pin the command okay I'm just gonna cut things and get things ready so um I have a Japanese cucumber Usually I cut off the ends and clean it, but nah, it's okay. We are not today. Hello, Tanjawa. So yeah, the ultimate raw vegan bun. Raw. The ultimate raw vegan bun has just begun. Yeah, and uh, all of us are like going live. Um, they're more of, like they're more. They're forty ebooks and courses, guides. You know, all related to raw vegan living. Not just recipe books. There's more. There's four hundred over recipes, but there's also like courses on how to make money. There's courses on manifest your team life. There's courses on. Um, there's a there's three yoga courses. There's a yin yoga course, and then there is a um, ashtanga yoga. If you don't want to do yin yoga and you want something more traditional. And then there is also uh, sound yoga. Yeah. So I purchased it today. Oh wow! Great. Uh, thank you for getting it. Um, how is the? Um, what do you like about it? Yeah. What do you think? Do you think people should get it? Do you think it's worth it? Yeah. I'm gonna cut up the. Um, the tomatoes as well. Yeah. This is the Blooming Burgers recipe, except that uh, it doesn't have one of the ingredients that makes it blooming. <laughs> yeah, I tried, but it didn't happen. So I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to get some other thing to see whether I can bloom it. Uh, so instead, I put like purple sweet potatoes in it. And I also put some lentils inside as well, so that when Mr. Jess guitarist eats it, uh, he eats the lentils. Ha ha ha. Yeah. I'm just cutting up. So now I'm cutting up the tomatoes and then I'll cut up the avocado. Yeah. Hello, KH. Hello, Qian Yan. Yeah. Love forever on uh oh I have tempe. Um Lisa and I will talk a little bit about tempe as well. Um this will be for US time is May the fourth. For those who are on um try to think like how thick do I want this to be? Uh those who are in Malaysia it's on Friday morning actually at 9 a.m. Yeah, I actually uh, teach how to make homemade tempeh. I like all the recipes. Give me new ideas. I think it's worth it. Oh, that's good. So cool to know that. Yeah, I said, my, can you help with that? Hello, Abhishek Storyteller. And hello, uh, Sirhan Carrot Susu. Oh, interesting. All right. Mm, let me cut the avocado. I might just use half an avocado. Yeah, I'm just cleaning my thing. Yeah. Asamat tolong. Yeah. Um. Okay. So. I didn't get much sleep last night because we went hiking and I only got home like at 12. And I only got to sleep at 1 in the morning, so I'm like super sleep deprived. Don't know what I'm thinking. Don't know what I'm talking. Ah, ah. 
Okay, I'm just gonna keep like I'm just gonna eat like half an avocado because I wanna keep it like low fat. Plus, I'm also eating the mozzarella balls. Oh, that's so much. Yeah. So, yeah. I okay. You know what? I like the raw wrap ebook. Okay, I think they are. I like the raw wraps ebook. I like the uh, because because um, she says that there are thirty three recipes, but actually there are like ninety nine because the wrap ebook not only has recipes for wraps, but it also has recipes for the fillings for the uh, sauces as well. So yeah, it's like and it's so creative. Yeah, and we made it the other day, and Mr. Jazz Gitaris liked it so much. So, yeah. Actually, I made. Yeah, I made three kinds of wraps already. Hmm. I actually like to just peel off the skin instead of using the spoon, but the skin is not peeling off very well. Let's just use the spoon. Yeah. And actually, the, you know the bundle? You don't need to be raw vegan to get it. It's just like, I mean, if, just, if you want to just introduce more raw veggies and more fresh veggies into your life and into your lifestyle, that's a good reason to get it. Yeah. Whether to get out the black spot. Hmm, maybe. Why is it black? Okay. Yeah. I like the red one and the appetizer book. Oh yeah, I like the appetizer book as well. I like the red one. I like the um next level pasta recipes as well because usually um, you always see like uh, spaghetti bolognese, you know. Um, yeah, it's always spaghetti bolognese or there's some kind of like pesto kind of thing. But um, this one has like penne. And then the other, it also has the far, I don't know how to pronounce it, farfalle? Yeah, so it's like, wow, that's so cool. You yeah. know, so... Okay, I think I have, I have this ready. Okay, so for the burger bun, we are actually going to use the iceberg lettuce. This is a weird shape iceberg lettuce. Yeah. <laughs> So we're supposed to cut the iceberg lettuce into half, but my iceberg lettuce is like. Bleh. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so I don't know how it will look like if I try to figure out, like, I think this way. Put it all the way down. And then. Remove the insides. I'm just gonna eat that as a salad later. I think. Ah! This part's like brown. Hello IMV, hello vegan chef Mateo Bio. Hey Bitcoin! We are making raw vegan burgers. I don't know whether this is something you would approve of or you would eat, but we'll see. Here we go. Ding! So basically to make raw vegan burgers, um, which are nut free, you Take lots of veggies. I thought you take root vegetables, actually that works. You know, so like carrots, sweet potatoes. Um, 
I put in some lentil sprouts. No, I put in some mung bean sprouts, not lentil sprouts. Mung bean sprouts. Yeah. And then, um, because you don't want to put in your nuts, you could put in some seeds. Some people put in like pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds. Or, um, um, yeah. And then you need a binder. So, you know, raw food binders, you can use psyllium husk as a binder. You can use chia seeds as a binder. You can use flax seeds as a binder. Um, and then you need spices and flavors. So, you know, whichever spices you like to put in. And herbs as well. Okay, my my um my iceberg lettuce is not acting the way a usual iceberg lettuce should act. So <laughs> this always happens on the live, right? Yeah. Uh, basically, you take that mixture, um, put it in a food processor, process it, and then um shape them into patties and then okay it's kind of working so i think i can put this two together um oh that part's like but yeah maybe we can put this together okay and then um and then dehydrate them and then voila you get this all right so i'm supposed to make a sauce i i cheated I had something in um, my freezer and I kind of just thawed it so that's going to be a sauce actually there are like loads of sauces in the bundle but um, and I made quite a number of them but I ate them all up already so yeah yeah so let's let's build the burger let's just do a bit of sauce and saucy bits yay saucy bits um, I'm going to put in my tempeh yeah, and then I'll put in the um, cucumbers, and uh, we'll put in the tomato, and then we'll put in the avocado, and then we'll put the burger on top. And then I want to put in, these are like my mung bean sprouts. I'm going to put in some mung bean sprouts here. What's in the sauce? Oh yeah. Uh, okay, usually the sauces are, um, you got to put nuts and seeds and then some uh, dates and then water. And then uh, sometimes miso and some kind of, um, again, some kind of herbs or spices or both. Yeah, that's usually it. Uh, this one I'm kind of cheating. Um, not cheating, but yeah, this is like a fruit based sauce. Oh, this has corn. This one has corn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. This one is not Lisa's recipe, it was um, my recipe. <laughs> Lisa has corn and bananas and water, so yeah, I don't know what to eat. Yeah, I basically took like my corn and ice cream kind of and put it there. But okay. This looks super thick. And then after that, I'm supposed to cut it into half. Oh, I didn't cut this away properly. All right. But like I said, my my iceberg lettuce today is not um, performing well. Not performing the way. Ooh, it's gonna break. But yeah. So there you go. That's like uh my raw vegan burger. Okay. I don't know how I'm, I want to take a picture, but um. I'm gonna eat this, so how am I gonna take the picture? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm trying to make this as like a thumbnail or something. Um, yeah. It's very. How you eat it? Like a super messy burger. Mmm, mmm. Okay, I'm gonna sit down so I can actually eat this properly. 
yeah okay <laughs> I'll be back This is huge. Yeah, it is. Might be a bit too big. I think I put in a bit too much uh, ice put lettuce or something. I don't know. I literally just eat it like half. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just take off this glove. One side. The other side. Okay, I'll, I'll take off both. I think. You're making me hungry and not even still in the morning. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. It's good to know. You know what? I'm just going to eat it like this. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Tempe. So everything in the Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle is brand new. Um, there's also an exclusive collector's edition um, appetizers recipe ebook. So yeah, check that out. Check the link in my bio. Um, does anybody have any questions? Whether it's raw or about the bundle. I'm just gonna eat it, take one more bite and then um, if no one has questions, I'm gonna like um, end. Tala Jani started following me. Oh, thank you for following. Mm. The other thing I wanted to show you mm, is this mozzarella balls. Um Oh yeah, Nana said I could reveal the recipe. So hold on, let me check. Oh, what's your opinion, opinion on the vegan cheese slices that are on sale? Nice or too processed? Will go nice with the burger, I think. Yeah. Um, okay. The ones that are on sale and cheese slices. If it's not raw vegan, it's most probably going to be like extremely processed. Um, I do, don't usually buy them. I actually had a company writing to me asking me whether I wanted to um, review their vegan cheeses. I said no. I think I had two companies asking me if I could um, work with them on that. Uh, yeah, you know, on like doing reels and all that. And I said no because I didn't want them to really promote anything that's too heavily processed. Yeah, if it's things like, um, yeah, it's not crazy process, then it's okay, but no. Um, I'm trying to remember whether, yeah, I forgot to put this in. Yeah, I'm trying to remember whether, um, see, you can actually slice this. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my, my knife is not very clean. I didn't clean it just now, I should have, but yeah. So this is actually sliceable, yeah. So from this to this, yeah, and this is actually sliceable, yeah. Um, this is in Lena's next level, um, yeah. I'm gonna put it, put it, I'm supposed to put it on this, but I forgot. So here. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, mmm. Mm. Mmm. That works. So yeah. Sorry. Nice or too processed? 
maybe you know we have it like once in a year or <laughs> something if i go out yeah yeah i might eat it but i wouldn't like go out to buy it that's why i say um but from an ethical point of view is good because then you're not harming the cows so yeah it depends on how healthy you want to be yeah if you're trying to eat healthy no if you're just going vegan for ethical reasons then you know you have no problems with that go ahead but most raw people would not eat it i wouldn't buy it i might eat it from time to time if if people give it to me but i wouldn't pay money for it uh, i just want to tell you what's in the mozzarella yeah so this one uh her original recipe has cashews but I, I did i use cashews oh i use cashews i use cashews yeah because i didn't let me suggest guitarist try it so it's cashews so it's um one cup of cashews one tablespoon lemon juice uh two tablespoons sodium husk and one pinch of garlic powder um yeah i'll be i'll i actually made a video on how to make this so i will sh be sharing that video when i've have i finished editing it i think i finished editing it so i'll be sharing that video soon um, basically blend all ingredients in a high speed blender and then with wet hands form little mozzarella cheese balls let them thicken up in the fridge overnight and you can actually freeze it i thought you can't but she told me you could freeze it so i froze it because i made like 10 of these right so i froze it and i just took it out just now i let it thaw in the dehydrator and it still retains the texture so this is great yeah yeah so yeah that's why i say i like her i like lena's um yeah next level pasta recipes i think my my top three ones that i like apart from my course which is vegan asian sweets and treats raw vegan asian sweets and treats um i like the wrap ebook i like the um special edition collectors uh, appetizers ebook and i like her next level pasta recipes yeah and then mine of course i mean Yeah. Does anybody have questions? No questions? Can I can you guys see this? Yeah. That's the next level pasta recipes ebook. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go because I need to eat and I can't like talk and eat at the same time. Yeah. Okay, if there's no other questions, thank you, Loyal Love, C Mill, James Shu, Miss Leia. Um Thank you, Regula, Can you Dawn, Diane, um, Laurie, and Loyal Love, and Asamat for watching. Um, I'll be. There's gonna be a replay. Um, if you're watching the replay, um, and you have any questions, do leave it in the comments, and I will answer it. Um, check out the Ultima Raw Vegan Bundle. The link is in my bio. The link is in the description. If you're watching this on YouTube, and the link is in. The comments if you're watching this on Facebook. Okay, I'll see you another time. Oh, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be coming on live tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm coming to Nate at 9 a.m. Malaysian time. I don't know what time is it Pacific. I think it's 6, 6, 7, 8, 6, 7, 8, 9. I think it's 6 p.m. Pacific tomorrow actually. Yeah, I'll see you guys then. <laughs>